This is a tour of my current aquaponics setup. Uh, my plants are all basically being protected by shade cloth right now because the Florida sun is just burning everything up, even though it's uh, October 3rd. So these are my three grow beds right now. They're uh, filled with White River Rock, and they have auto siphons. So these are flood and drain beds. Uh, for those of you not uh, aware, the bed fills up with water until it hits the top of the standpipe, basically starts an auto siphon, then drains rapidly into the sump, sump tank. Over here, I just a couple days ago, I built this uh, uh, deep water culture. Uh, rather than having a floating raft, I just went ahead and used the top that came with the Sterilite container. It is... Um, It was an inexpensive container, about 13 or 14 bucks. Uh, it was that sort of milky white plastic, and I painted it green on the outside to kind of cut down on the light. And that just is a constant fill, and the overflow just comes right down into this pipe, or and then down into the sump. This is the sump tank. It's, uh, it can hold 100 gallons. Um, this is, I just have some screen over here to kind of cut down on the sun a little bit. These are clay balls called Hydrotten. It's a, it's a great media. It's really light. It's kind of expensive. So that's why I don't have my beds filled with it because that would have cost hundreds of dollars. Um, but for these little net pots, that works pretty good. Anyway, here are my grow beds on this side and all the plumbing. This this pipe right here is the one that goes to the DWC, the, you know, the deep water culture. Under here you can see that the that one pipe has water coming out of it. And that's just constant, that's a constant flow. The flow the water flows from the fish tank into the DWC and then and then overfills uh, through the stand pipe and drains down into there. The holes in the pipes there, um, are basically mufflers. I got that from a man named Afnan, Afnan Aquaponics, and he's done a lot of uh, research and experimentation and such, a lot of work with aquaponics and shared the information uh, freely with people. And it just reduces the amount of sound. It's kind of a nice little drizzle now instead of a sort of a gushing sound. Because um, it can get pretty loud, especially when you get, you know, the DWC draining constantly, plus the three grow beds. Sometimes they can all drain at the same time, and it can be <laughs> pretty loud. Uh, so it just makes it a little bit quieter. So in the sump, I have some covers here that I made. And in the sump is uh, an 800 gallon per hour pump. It just comes out this way, um, down to the fish tank. That's that's a buried line in this pipe coming up just comes to a valve and is capped off right now for possible future expansion. So then the water uh, gets pumped under the ground up this uh, smaller pipe, the one inch pipe, and into the fish tank. And here is my cover that I made. My other hobby, woodworking. And um, this is kind of neat. I put some um, pipe. I cut them, some PVC pipe, cut them down into little pieces here, and then cut a little piece out of them and made clips. And so uh, it really holds the cover on pretty good, and it sort of locks it in place. Not too hard, but a little bit of extra resistance. What I did here was I made a venturi that I get free oxygenation, so I don't need an electrical air pump. Plenty of air, as you can see. And what that happens when I shut the venturi off, I just put my finger thumb over the hole here, and obviously it gets quieter, and then the bubbles stop. So, you can see my goldfish swimming around in there. Those are my, my uh, starter fish. Get my tank cycled and everything. 
Um, this tank will be filled with probably 60 tilapia soon. Seems like it's doing really well. The fish are doing really well. So, pick them the bubbles again. There we go. Nice oxygenation. Okay. And then, more water is coming into this tank than would, would uh, flow out into the grow beds. So this tank would actually overfill. So in the sump tank, I had a bypass valve. And I'll come right back over here and show you that. There's a bypass valve right there with another venturi. So that valve is completely closed right now. But if I needed to, I can open it. And a lot of the water, or as much water as I need, will bypass right back into the sump here. See that venturi oxidates the water here. Yeah, as you can see, there's a couple of grow beds. All three grow beds actually are empty right now. It's pretty cool. I can see all three of them at the same time right after I told you it could happen. So there you go. So right now I have that closed, so more water is going into the fish tank than um, would go would be able to flow into the grow beds because I have those <coughs> controlled with valves, and I'll show you that in a second. So basically, this tank has a what used to be a valve on the bottom. I took the valve out, stuck a pipe in there, so the water obviously seeks its own level. Uh, and comes up to here. So anything above this, as far as water level, will drain through this pipe down under the ground, up, and then to the manifold, to the different grow beds, and each one has a has a valve, which I turn the valves this way so that when you know, when you're walking by, you don't grab a valve with your pant leg or your pocket or whatever. So, um, the valves control how much water flows into the bed. And right now I'm finding that that's a pretty good, that's a lot uh, of flow. I had it reduced before, but um, I find the plants have been doing better, maybe because it's so hot right now, I don't know. But the plants have been doing better with a more rapid fill. So that's what's been working for me. So now what we have over here is um, back to the drainage for the grow beds. Um, this part here is just a vent. And you can see the water level in there. And this is just to uh, vent the pipe so that uh, a siphon doesn't form. And then I have some piping down here that's just um, in case I need to... Uh, drain some tank water. So I was telling you before that the, the amount of flow into the tank is greater than is being allowed into the into the grow beds because I have the valves partially closed on these two beds. This one's fully open um, to try to get all the flows about the same. And even if those valves are completely open, the pump is still pumping faster than this water will gravity feed into those beds. And this tank will overflow. So, uh, with the bypass valve and the sump I just told you about, that's how I was uh, kind of taking care of that. I would just bypass more water and keep this level constant. Now what I've done, since I put the DWC system in, is I built an overflow here. And normally this would be called like a solid lifting overflow and you'd have a pipe that goes all the way down, down close to the bottom and it would, it would lift the solids up out of the bottom and then uh, just kind of drain out. Obviously that's the level of the water, you can see it. So as the water comes in, it hits that level and it drains down that pipe right there. I have two 45 degree elbows here so that I can actually adjust this up and down a little bit so I can make the water level right where I want it. So, Again, this is, uh, at first I had just an elbow here, and the water would just flow in there. But that created quite a bit of a, a downflow, and like, anytime I fed the fish, the food would go down there. Um, one time one of the fish got sucked down there. <laughs> Ended up in the, in the DWC when I was building it. So now, uh, on the bottom of that, I have another uh, cap with holes in it, similar to this one. 
to keep fish from getting sucked up, or from going up in there. So the water, that water goes out this pipe and down, buried again under the ground, and up this pipe that I showed you before into the deep water culture, DWC. And this is a hefty um, container. I thought it was Sterilite, but it's actually hefty. And it is that uh, same plastic that they make food bottles out of and things like that. So it's, it's food grade. It's uh, number five on the recycling list.